Okay, now we're going to get a basic reloading lesson. Uh, like I showed you my attempt to use the automatic powder dispenser. Um, I'm not happy with it. You know, I want to load up, I want to throw 200 charges in this session. And I'm not going to spend over 200 minutes doing it. So what we have is the Lee Perfect Powder Measure. I have a balance beam scale. And at a minute apiece, 10 cartridges would take, I'd say, 11 minutes. Okay? The only advantage of using the automatic powder scale is each charge is weighed. And every single one comes out dead on to within a tenth. Well, what I'm going to do with this is I've set this up. And how you set this up is I tweak this in in any flake powders like unique, red dot, green dot, these shotgun flake powders. If you thump this measure, it'll settle. So once I got it close, I ran it up a few times and it did settle the powder. So what I did is I had to readjust the measure about three tenths of a grain is the difference it made. Got it back down to where I wanted it. This is called skill, feel, finesse. Okay? This is not just automatic with everything bleeping, blinking, and telling you the digital readout. And you got to use the balance uh, scale on a powder measure where you have to count the little numbers and know what each little notch means in terms of grains. I know that's confusing for some people, but doing it this way, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run 10 cartridges and see how long it takes me. I'm going to time it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first one, charge it, put it on a scale, verify it's right, dump the powder back, go, and I'm going to run the rest of them, then do the last one, verify the powder, so the first and the tenth will be weighed, and if everything's good, and those 10 are done. So let me get my wristwatch set here and I'll start. And I'm not going to go for speed. I'm just going to take my normal time and see the difference. Knowing that we're going one minute for each charge with that automatic uh, machine. Okay. So we're looking to beat 11 minutes. And I will start right now. Okay, let's charge. Consistent within a tenth. It was done in actually one minute and fifty seconds, but two minutes. That's two minutes right there. You guys can look at the thing on the bottom, verify me, but minute 55 compared to 11 minutes. 
And what's the difference? I paid $194 for that machine. Okay, this was 25 bucks. Granted, a good scale is about $80. Okay, but I've had this thing for maybe more. I think they're 100 or something. Uh, you know, it's just faster and consistent. So, something to think about. Like I said, you have to be aware, pay attention when you're using this manual equipment a little bit more. It's not automated. I can't save it. I have to adjust it every time. But, you know, I'm going to knock out this project here in the next half hour. Other than just sitting around two hours to charge. So, that's something you guys got to think about. Not to knock the machine. Okay. But... The cost and everything and, you know, your time is valuable too. I just don't, don't have time to sit around fooling with it. It's a nice machine. It has a lot of nice features, but I can use this basic equipment and get the job done a lot faster. Just about as good too. All right. Thank you and stay tuned.